Now any company's TV can be operated with this one remote. You can use this remote if you are not able to buy the remote of your home TV from the store. Remote connectivity frequency of many LED LCD smart Android TVs is included in this one remote. So after buying this remote from the store you need to pair it with your home TV. That means you need to understand the company of your TV for this remote that you bought. I'll show you how it is. We can pair remote with TV in three ways. I will show you the first method. Let's read what is written on the back of the remote. First turn on the TV. After that, if your TV's company name is seen on the switches of this remote, press and hold that switch for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds it will be paired. Let's first look at the pairing of the company Sony. Ok pairing completed. Next example now connecting to Panasonic TV. Ok successful. Once the pairing process is complete, you will see the LED above the remote flashing. The next method is written in this paper. That is, when we buy a remote, we get a chart with the remotes of many companies and their connectivity codes. Find out which of these is your company remote and enter the code of that remote in this universal remote. For that, press and hold the set button on the top of the remote and press the power button at the same time. Then you will see the red light on the top of the remote. At that time, enter the code of the remote shown in the chart. OK pairing completed. The next method is very simple, that is, press the set button on the top of this universal remote for a long time towards the TV. While doing this, this remote will emit various frequencies. After some time you will see, volume, letter appear on your TV then stop pressing. Now remote pair is done. This is something that needs to be done very patiently, sometimes it may take a lot of time. Ok pairing completed. This way, this remote can be used instead of remotes that are not available from the market. Thank you for watching.